Now we have a story that reflects the true meaning of Thanksgiving, and that is giving thanks. As you know, my father was a proud member of the Tuskegee Airmen. Their service was often lost to history, but I gotta tell you, the troops of World War II, whose lives were protected by that group of airmen, will never forget them. And one of those soldiers, television icon Norman Lear, reached out to us, eager to express his appreciation. With a heart full of gratitude, the Tuskegee Airmen cementing a lasting legacy of determination, pride, and courage. Among the first African-American aviators fighting for this country during World War II, my father, Colonel Lawrence E. Roberts, among them. Oh, so good, I know. It's just like you said, it's like you can't, you can't put it into words. Also proud members of the Red Tails, Colonel George Hardy and Colonel Harry Stewart Jr., who reflect on those historic years almost eight decades later. For folks who don't know, just enlighten them on what it was like to be a Tuskegee Airman. Well, the Tuskegee Air Airman experience was so wonderful for me as far as I was concerned. I was still 19 years old when I was flying over there. It was a chance for us to go ahead and protect our brother flyers who were in the air there, and uh, it was our pleasure in doing that. Sharing his appreciation, television titan and veteran Norman Lear, who at 100 years old vividly remembers the protection from the Tuskegee Airmen during dangerous combat missions. Folks know, of course, of your stellar TV career, but they don't know about your service. So tell folks about your service. I was attending Emerson College in Boston when Pearl Harbor occurred. I enlisted. When we saw those red tails, we all felt just a little more comfortable, safe, and so forth. They flew a little or a lot closer to us somehow. We felt a little more protected. You wanted to thank the Tuskegee Airmen. So what do you want to say to both Colonel Stewart and Colonel Hardy? Anytime I reflect on my service, I think of you guys, gratefully. Well, it means a lot to me. Uh, in fact, uh, I've gone to several elderly gentlemen who in the last years wanted to see a Tuskegee Airman to thank them for that very reason. And I just appreciated the, the warmth and whatnot. Now their achievements and influence widely recognized, the New England Air Museum opening a new exhibit dedicated to the airmen, a chance for an in-person red tail reunion. At 98 years old, I feel the, a, a great pleasure in uh, having been able to go ahead and serve my country. I could not be more grateful for the Tuskegee Airmen and their red tails. I think of them all the time, and, uh, and I could not be more grateful. I just love seeing all those smiles like that. And you know, many of Norman Lear's classic sitcoms focus on contemporary issues. While he may be best known for, of course, All in the Family, he also produced and wrote three iconic sitcoms, Sanford and Son, Good Times, and the Jeffersons. Just incredible. So clear how important it was for him to tell this story. It really was. I mean, uh, Tyler Perry gave me a call and he said he had recently seen Norman Lear and that Norman asked, is there any way um, that I could be connected with the Tuskegee Airmen to thank them? And because, as he said, the, the Tuskegee Airmen, the reason they were called the Red Tails, their tails yeah. of the planes were painted red so you knew who they were. And you've heard from people like Norman Lear and others who were there who said when they saw the Red Tails, they exhaled because they had an exemplary flying record. And it's so important because my father was a Tuskegee Airman and it was only later in life that I even realized. Understood. I was never taught that in school, so it's so important for just to know the history. Of what and your father done. had that nice honor last week as oh, well. Oh gosh, he did. Um, the naming of the road leading to Newark Airport, the new terminal that's going to open officially December 9th, which will be my dad's 100th birthday. Oh, that's oh, great. Wow. Oh, that's yeah. fantastic. Amazing. That was great, Robin. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.